in pubs of Nottingham, drinking beers from Totally Brewed, Lenton Lane, Black Eye, uh, not Black Eye, was no, uh, Blue Monkey, uh, Neon Raptor, Bang the Elephant, um, yeah, I think that's all. Thing. Maybe somebody else, but it doesn't really matter. So, and the reason why for saying those beers because all of those breweries have gone into craft beer. And uh, hey ho, the first ever Raggy's Craft Beer Review of L Lincoln Green. I have drank their Black Shell Project beers before, but now the Black Shell Project is full on craft. So, take notice, Nottingham Camera. Take notice, Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. You have a player now. So this is Dosco. It is citrus, dank and piney. 7.3%. It is a double dry hot IPA. And like I say, under the Black Shell Project, we all know about Lincoln Green. So I'll read you what it says about Dosco. Dosco is our first canned beer. And we've made it a special one. Double dry hopped with big punchy hops from the USA. So, whoa, I've had a few beers. And uh, as you do, it is a Saturday afternoon. I had a cracking Saturday afternoon out. And you know, like most people, it's not about getting drunk. It's about socialising. And uh, what I see in the, in the pubs that sell craft beer, and good cask and keg beer, good cask and keg. And I'm not talking the multinationals or the mega brands. I'm talking local and near local. There's some absolutely amazing beers. I've drank some absolute belters this afternoon. And I thought, well, come home and uh, well, drink another belter, as you do. And obviously, I have an admiration for Lincoln Green, you know, the only brewery in Nottingham to, you know, offer me the chance to have my name on the beer, to go down and brew the beer, especially with them. That resonates with me. And it's something, it's a special thing. Whether it'll ever happen again, I don't know. But it's a special thing nonetheless. So, depending on your life, um this side of the camera it looks more golden lots of slightly hazy um certainly good carbonation on the camera it, it doesn't look the same and i do get that and it's down to light so don't let the light of the beer room fool you yeah the light of, there you go that is nearly a true representation nearly so it's not oxidised in any way, shape or form. For those people that think, oh, it's a bit of a funny colour. It's not. It's just the beer room. You know, I can only play with what I've got in that respect. So, as it says, citrus, dank and piney. And like, like when I spoke to um, Mrs. Miss, Mrs. Lincoln Green yesterday, um, it's great for the brewers, Martin, the head brewer, and the other people uh, behind the scenes to appreciate what's going to go, the ability to, to brew different beers. And I get that, you know, as a gardener, I don't want to be doing the same work day in, day out, because it's literally stupidly boring. Aroma wise, quite citrusy. Um, taste wise, piney, really quite strong pine. Uh, slightly different to how it is on keg. Uh, a slight different beast on keg, which is interesting. You know, keg is different. Keg, can, cask. They're all different beasts. One must remember this. Every bit is going to taste slightly different. I 
certainly got a dankness to it um, on the taste, citrusy certainly, and a big massive smack of pine, certainly. And uh, good to see Lincoln Green next week down at the Star Inn Beer Festival. So this is a local beer festival to the area of Beeston. Uh, I will be attending, uh, mm -hmm. most likely on the Saturday. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll, um, even though I'm, I'm literally a quiet person in reality, you know, don't matter what, what it looks like on camera. I'm actually a really quiet person who's, who's, who's more subtle and in the background and doesn't want to drag attention to himself. Um, I mean, I've been to four different pubs today, stayed in the background as you do and enjoyed some fantastic beers. And uh, for me, the beer rooms, um, the quintessential place to do beer reviews. Uh, although I would have loved to review some of the beers that I've drank today. I've drank some cracking beers especially in the last pub, three beers in that last pub that I would have wanted to review all day long. Next Friday, maybe, maybe I will be doing some reviewing, but we shall see. Definitely got a piney poke to it. This has Ooh. quite a bit left in. Let's uh, dive in as you do. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's quite the uh, modern, punchy, craft beery uh, beer from Lincoln Green. It's um, and I've actually picked up one of their glasses, a Black Shell. Black Shell being their, what I would call their craft beer brand. So, yeah. <sighs> I don't know where I've got perfume on my hands from. I can, I can, it's coming through into my nose. Whoa. So the citrus elements there and the dankness wow it's there but the piney uh, element um when i drank this literally a month ago over at the uh, lincoln green brewery tour um it wasn't anything like this it's aged a bit now in cans and it delivers a punchy pine if you love your piney beers this is 100% down your street. It, um, for me, it's a statement. You know, it says, we are, we are craft, we are here. Um, you know, all professional brewers have to learn their trade. Don't expect to go into any trade. I'm a gardener. Don't expect to come into my trade. And be an expert you ain't no expert everyone can cut grass everyone can cut and hedge trust me yeah i'm a i'm a landscape gardener i can cut i can cut grass and hedge that doesn't mean anything mate you know in the grand scheme of things it means nothing just because you can do those things does not make you a gardener and uh, I learnt from the best, and the best of us learned from the people before us. We adapt their techniques, we modernise their techniques, and we move on. We improvise, we use modern uh, ways of doing things to improve what was before us. And uh, much like the brewers that brew beer these days, 
they are you know working on the older way of things you know beer is essentially water boiled with hops with malt and um, mashing it and all that and then fermenting it yeast on the top that is the basics of it all the fundamentals are quite a bit more difficult you know it's not as easy as it sounds yeah it is if you're brewing from a kit don't, don't get me wrong it, it sounds easy but there, there, there are elements you must do at the right temperature to get the to get the best um you know from your kit and from your brew i know this i've been grain brewing myself so my next grain brew is a is an imperial stout why because i'm not messing about you know uh i've been brewing since i've since about 2005 so i've been brewing for 17 years probably longer for most of the most of the professional brewers out there as a as a amateur home brewer so you know and i've pushed the button and pushed boundaries on my home brews and uh so uh but not commercially obviously so um you know i have an admiration for the brewing sector and they do some great work you know that that is to be said you know it's not easy work it can be very hot and it can be very very cold in the winter months and uh, much like gardening you know we go the both the extremes so i appreciate i mean they work inside i work outside so I've got a rainer element to contend with here as well. But in any case, Dosco, the first, um, the first craft beer in a can from um, Len, uh, from Lincoln Green, rather. Um, I'd like them to do their. If I was talking to Lincoln Green personally, um, I'd like them to look at their back catalogue fire damp for certain in a can at 8.9 is 8.9 percent um that would make a premium uh, craft beer can i would like them to do and uh, now i'm talking directly to the head brewer and the owner um imperial stouts because i feel that um you know monetary values aside logistics and monetary value aside I get that, that uh, Imperial Stouts are interesting. Barrel-aged Imperial Stouts are interesting. Having the space to do it, that is also interesting. You know, that would acquire a part of the brewery to do that in. Could they do it? Um, I think Lincoln Green could do it. They've got a big enough premises to to slot in 10 or 12 barrel barrel you know barrels to, to barrel age um and i do think that that is an interesting um way forward and certainly collaborations um i would love to see a collaboration with the likes of emperor's brewery and also bang the elephant and uh you know both those breweries um have a certain obviously both breweries you know are quite big in their own respective area and nationally as well so this is for me where i would point um lincoln green at for those who, who know lincoln green they are a fantastic um tr modern traditional brewery and uh, i know that they certainly know that uh with four pubs on the books but um to have a keg line in each pub with maybe a key keg line where you can swap and change at will now for those people watching uh, baggy's beer reviews for the first time cask it's in the metal basically either a metal or plastic container it literally lasts possibly a week uh, not much more than that so you know they've got to sell it quick keg uh cask is king to be fair but with keg keg 
is where you get CO2 added and uh, the beer lasts a lot longer. So in some ways, from a monetary aspect, keg is quite an interesting um, option to have on the table. <sighs> but, um, God, I'm off steaming. So I do apologise. You know, I've rattled. We're 13 minutes in. So, certainly citrusy still. There was a touch of vanilla then. Big and piney. Um, certainly dank. Oh. Lincoln Greens first. What you would call a real craft beer. Um, the stuff in bottles that was Black Shell Project before, it was crafty, but I would say traditional crafty in some ways. This is full on craft beer. And uh, it's great to see, really is, it's great to see the evolution of Lincoln Green. While still keeping the Nottingham beers and still keeping a, a Nottingham edge to the beers, um, it's really interesting. For me, a good 4.45 out of 5 and 7.3%, uh, yeah, nice. And that, make sure I keep some in the can for the obligatory photo. But yeah, super piney, citrusy, dank, but the pine element, wow, you wouldn't know about it. And now, I'm going to go up the house, I'm going to get my settee and uh, I need some sleep because the beer's got me. But I've had a great review. And as you know, it's uh, for me, it's about delivering a good review. It's about poking people when I need to poke them. Don't get me wrong. You know, credits to you. I lie. Many, many times have I been ignored for what the stuff I do, and that annoys you. I do not want publicity, but a subtle, subtle thank you is, is something that we can all uh, appreciate. And I appreciate that, whether it be gardening, beer reviews or whatever. And, uh, and I also think that appreciation is key, you know, Social media these days is powerful. It's a powerful tool that must be used correctly. And uh, so if I'm talking to Nottingham Craft Beer Festival, and please, I, I hope you're listening at some stage. Um, next year, Lincoln Green Craft Beers, it's got to be the thing. It's got to be. You've already got Castle Rock magpie down there and uh, these guys well i don't need to tell you how good they are um forgot where i was going then <clears throat> but yeah and then other you know nottingham craft beer uh sorry camera you know um i do think that lincoln green need their own brewery bar down there because they are such a big brewery for Nottinghamshire and uh, and the UK in general some of their beers are much bigger than they than they think they are Buttermuch is is an astounding beer and uh, if only the people who run Harry Potter world in you know down Watford would realise this and as a beer reviewer I realised it you know I know how important this that beer is and how much it would sell if only somebody got off their backside and actually listened to me <sighs> it does disappoint me at times but in any case um out of five for me they didn't already say a good 4.45 out of 5. Dosco. Oh. 
Here we go. So apologize for being slightly abbreviated, but nonetheless, the first Lincoln Green true craft beer in a can. Absolutely love these people, you know, in, in a normal way, obviously. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> cracking brewery and uh, a true raggy favourite of all ways. But to bring out craft beer in a can, oh, I only thought they were going down the bottled route. And I didn't know they were going to go down the, the, the canned route. So that's really a plus. They do some bonkers beers at times. And uh, you need to keep your eyes out on them. And uh, Raggy's Reviews will always promote good beer, you know. In any, in any case, thank you for watching. See you soon. 21 minutes. Shit. Cheers, all.